Time for you to go be smooth. King of the jungle, cause you're in a mode. Time for you to go overload. Eat your competition alive, cause you're in a mode. What's my competition? Only me. Go head to head with my enemies and smash in the smithereens. Calisthenics burning calories. Bring that fire ready to blow up. Now we're the kerosene. You're a fighter, you're a fighter. Never gonna give up, never gonna back down. Get up, get up. Welcome into the Friday Night Blitz. We did 11 weeks of regular season football, a week of playoffs last week, and now round two of the playoffs and spots in the semifinals on the line around the state. Absolutely, and some teams, their hearts were broken, and some teams, their hearts are super full because they are moving on. And this game right here, we're about to show you our showcase game, Little Rock Catholic versus Little Rock Christian. Two teams that have never played before, two private schools, only 20 minutes apart, meeting for the first time on the gridiron, and it was a cold one. I was there, but the plays were not cold. It was just heating up. We're gonna start in the first quarter, Walker White, to Cade Bowman gets the first down for Little Rock Christian, but they would eventually settle for the field goal, making it three nothing. Little Rock Christian then in the second quarter, Sam Sanders gets it to Dominic Keaton. He doesn't quite get in, but that duo tries again. And Keaton gets in there and Catholic leads seven to three. Then this time Sanders Again, finds Keaton, and he gets down for the first down. They bring him down, but he's in a good scoring position. And then Sanders sends it this time to Nannan for the touchdown, and Catholic leads this one 13 to three. All right, so then this one we get a little bit crazy. In the fourth quarter, we're gonna show you that right here. Walker White finds Tate Collins. Right there with about three minutes left in the game, making it 17 to three, and the Warriors take the lead, 17 to 13 rather. Then, Little Rock Christian again. That's Ronnie Onyoke running it in, making it 23 to 19, Little Rock Christian, but the Rockets did not give up. That's Sanders to Thomas Dutch, and the Rockets would score a touchdown in the final seconds to score, and Little Rock Catholic, continues to fly. The Rockets win this one 26 to 23. They'll take on Pulaski Academy. So the perfect season continues for our Catholic, as Sierra just said, taking on PA in the semifinal. How about the other side of the 6A bracket? Greenwood rolled and they'd meet the winner of this one. Lake Hamilton taking on Benton, the Wolfpack, making the drive to Saline County in front of a packed out house of Panther fans. And uh, Benton came ready. They were already up 21-0 at halftime. Third quarter still rolling. Benton Maddox spins his way out of a defender into a first down there. And then, yeah, you know this name if you're a Benton person or if you're just an Arkansas person. You like football in general. You know Braylon Russell. He comes in for the touchdown. 28-0 Benton in the third quarter. And you're going to see why that score for Lake Hamilton was zero. Lake Hamilton finally inside the 20. Third down and short. No go. Fourth and short. Benton comes up with the stop. The Panther defense was absolutely untouchable today, and the offense just grinds the clock the rest of the way. There's Klein Hooten to Logan Owen for a first down, but Benton shuts out Lake Hamilton. Offense rides that strong first half, and it'll be Benton headed to Greenwood next week for a spot in the state title game. The Conway Wampus Cats went out to Northwest Arkansas to take on the Fayetteville Purple Dogs. It was cold, I'm sure it was. We've got Donovan Amolo with the pass to Jamari and Carr, who easily gets in for the Wampus catch touchdown. And then Conway would just keep on going there this time. But the Fayetteville Bulldogs can't hold on to this one. And the fumbles were covered for, by Conway. Shout out to the Wampus Cats, Wampus Cats defense right there, covering right there on the road. Then the Wampus Cats at the 10 yard line. Quarterback Donovan Omolo, very talented QB. He's a dual threat athlete right there. Putting in another touchdown for Conway. And this would be a huge win for the Wampus Cats on the road. Shut out the Purple Dogs of Fayetteville, 37 to zip. That's your final score.
All right, let's stick in the 7A and stick in Northwest Arkansas. North Little Rock went on the road last year and beat Bentonville in their own stadium in a huge upset. Bentonville looking to avenge that this year. And yeah, there's Carter and I find CJ Brown for a touchdown. Already a second of the quarter. It was 14-0 Bentonville early. All right, on to the second quarter. Nye going deep down the sideline. Finds Brown again just absolutely wide open. Third touchdown of the half for C.J. Brown. Bentonville is cruising. And yeah, three touchdowns wasn't enough for Brown. You know Bentonville remembers that game last year. Once again, a wide open Tiger. Four first half touchdowns for C.J. Brown. Bentonville avenges last year's loss to North Little Rock with a 45-0 beatdown of the Charging Wildcats to advance to the 7A semifinals. And sticking with the 7A and sticking up in Northwest Arkansas, Cabot made the trip up to take on Bentonville West. Panthers' Evian Jimerson takes the handoff and he just keeps going, but brought down with a face mask penalty and that gets him to the goal line. And then Abe Owen keeps it, plows his way to the one, but They've got Jimerson again, says, what defender? Who, who, you can't stop me. And he gets in there for the touchdown at seven, nothing Cabot. And want to see a magic trick right here. Number nine, about to disappear and makes Owen, gets inside the 15. And then Cabot, I guess, confuses the cameraman. This was not me, I promise you. But Hayes Cox gets the ball and races in for the touchdown and it's 14 nothing Panthers. Then the Wolverines, Jake Casey sends one way out, but Gunner Poe intercepts that one. And they bring him down right at the goal line. Cabot doing things on both sides of the ball, looking real strong there. And Jimerson walks it in easily for Cabot and the Panthers win this one 41 to 21. All right, we're gonna take a break, quick break, but don't worry, that's not all. We got highlights from the 7A, the 6A, the 5A, the 4A, 3A, 2A. It's all coming your way right after this. <laughs> 